Hi, everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. This is Experiencing Intelligent Breakthroughs in Your Sports Performance in Life, and we're talking about a very, very important topic, subject, word, attitude. And you hear this, depending upon who you're with, you hear them saying, put everything on attitude. They have success, they say attitude. They have the right attitude, or they have a positive attitude, or it's all about attitude. Or if they don't have success, or not doing well, or things aren't going right, they say attitude in sense of negative attitude. Now having a positive attitude is extremely important, obviously. There's a professional Hall of Fame speaker by the name of Keith Harrell. He would speak to all types of groups, organizations, businesses about having a positive attitude, gave stories, examples. So we know that that's really important. If you weren't fortunate to see Keith speak, then here's a video for you so that you can learn to teach the best attitude. That's what we want. Teach the best attitude. And we already know a positive attitude is essential. So if you're trying to, or if you're working with or helping someone and, and, and it's not progressing like you want it to, do you do what a lot of people do and just dump it on attitude? Or let's say it is progressing like you wanted to, and you just, you just, again, dump it on attitude, whether it's positive attitude or negative attitude. Well, it's more robust than that. It really is. And so a tool to use is just simply a question. Ask them, what is your focus best vision? Because your intrinsic relationship between your motivation and inspiration is what controls your attitude. If you have that focus, best vision, right? And you write that or you say it out loud or you yell it out loud or you create a visual of it. Well, that's going to be implanted into your mind set. And when it does that, you're going to recall that. And therefore, it's going to put you in a positive attitude. All right? If someone's already in a negative attitude and you working with them or helping them or whatever. And, and I hear people say, yeah, destroy a negative attitude. Well, they're already destroyed. They got a negative attitude. What do you want to do, destroy them more? That doesn't make sense. That's nonsense. That's just their way because they don't know how to ask for help or support or assistance. And they're looking for you to be the person that teaches them the best attitude. And when you do that, you're being a humanitarian. Sure, this isn't a big humanitarian moment. We actually don't want those moments. We'd rather prevent those moments. But this making a big, big, huge impact, though, and goes a long way because you're teaching them a life skill. Right. I have clients come to me and they'll say, you know, they're solving a problem. They, they need help with a problem. Well, before they didn't have the problem, they were right here. Now that they have the problem, after I help them solve it, they're still going to be right here. How exciting is that? That's not that exciting. That's not that fun. In your sports, is that that fun? In your life, is that that fun? No, you're just staying at the one place. Right. No. What's fun? You make it fun for them. Make it fun for your athletes, your coaches, fans. You go towards a positive common goal. You go towards the breakthroughs. What are the breakthroughs? So when people come and talk with me, I ask them, you know, what are the breakthroughs you want? What are the breakthroughs you need? What are the breakthroughs you're working on? Sure, I want to hear that problem because obviously I need to impart wisdom, knowledge, tools, skills my expertise towards that. 
But one of the key ways is to get them to shift and start to think about their focus best vision. Teach them the best attitude. Ask them what are their breakthroughs that they're looking to accomplish, achieve. That's what puts them in a positive attitude. And as I impart that wisdom, that knowledge, that skill, the experience, whatever it may be, expertise, well, I want them to implant that, learn that. So now they have that life skill, right? As an athlete, you're always learning these skills. You know, and I can give you another tip for an athlete. Another great tip for an athlete is you could be doing all of this, right? You could be using my question of what is your focus best vision. You could be telling yourself, uh, you know, what is the, what are the breakthroughs that I want? And for whatever reason, you're just not feeling the zone. You're not feeling it. You know, a lot of athletes talk about feeling it. And for whatever reason, it's just not happening. And you got to make yourself feel it or, or, or create that feeling or, or do that feeling, right? So one of the best ways to do that is purely with emotion, focused emotion. You don't need to go and do like a rant and rave and cause this big commotion to get you excited because by that time, you probably totally take yourself out of the game, right? People look at you like, boy, this guy's really gone out of whack and, you know, this, this isn't going to work. And it just takes up too much time. Now, what you could do is use focused emotion and just yell out loud. Yell something like positive, you know, or yell your name out loud. That's what I do. I yell my name out loud. And if I miss a shot, I say, Raj! It just clears everything, right? And I continue going. But if I just stay quiet and don't use my focused emotion, don't use all the gifts, the talents, the skills that I have, to put me into that right positive attitude, right? To start feeling it, then I'm gonna be challenged, right? And you've seen athletes do this in different ways. You've seen great examples of it, and you've seen terrible examples of it, right? You see it all the time. So use some focused emotion. Now say something out loud. Yeah, you know, do it with fervor and be passionate about it and it'll jolt you but you don't want to do it to scare anybody or to cause fear and you definitely don't want to do it in a way that's going to degrade or denigrate you no you want to do it in a very positive way and when you do that your being your persona everything will shift and when it shifts like that, it's easier for you to perform, forward perform. It's either easier for you to experience that feeling, to go towards that positive common goal, to go towards those breakthroughs. So implement that in your athletics. If you're a coach, you have coaches and, and you have your athletes and, and you see them challenged with this. You know, different people are different ways, but... Sometimes you need to know that emotion and arousal creates intensity. And when I say emotion, I'm talking about outward emotion, body language, incantation, yelling something out, and then add to that the arousal and you have intensity right and just that brief moment of emotion arousal or together intensity will get you through whatever it is that you're going through so that you are in a performance state to where you are working towards the breakthroughs. Your mindset is not 
negative or you feel that you're not having that positive attitude or for whatever reason you have a positive attitude but your brain's telling you something different right so that's what you want to do you want to do that do more when that happens if that happens do more and the way you do it is with emotion and arousal and you put those together and you have intensity so that's what i have for you today right teach the best attitude we don't want to tear our athletes down i mean they already got a negative attitude they're already torn down you want to tear them down Hi, more everyone. Welcome no. to facebook live all about life that i don't know what's happening there We've been something's happening model, uh, uh winning mental pyramid so four, i'll go four, ahead and four, sign three. off Looks like I started and something and didn't want to do that, but hopefully you are listening and you can see me. So I apologize for that. Like I said, I do not know what happened, but sometimes things like this happen and uh, it looks like you can still see me. I see myself now. So I hope you have a meaningful trigger for tonight. I really do. I'm going to take my mom to the grocery store, get her to work on her walking and get her in an environment that she likes being in. She's been cooped up a little bit and go out there and do that. Because, you know, in your athletics, you know, you still have a life. You still have people around you. You still have relationships, right? And even in those relationships, if you can impart some wisdom, some knowledge to teach the best attitude, well, then when you see someone, you can see them and you see a person and you see better than perfect. But if you're walking in, even for someone you've known forever, and you're not seeing that, well, then don't blame it on them having a negative attitude. Don't blame it on you having a negative attitude. All that blame is not helping anything. Zero dot zero. You need patience. You need to understand to ask the right question to get them going towards a positive, both of you going towards a positive common goal and a positive or towards breakthroughs. Now, you can't just ask them, what do you want? I mean, did that sound friendly to you? Benevolent to you? No. Or you can't say, you're not telling me what you want. Or you can't say, I don't know what you want. You think that's going to create camaraderie, teamwork, benevolence? No, that's not, right? You want to look presentable. You want to sound presentable. So work on that. Work on focusing on that positive common goal this communication it takes patience takes the right words and also identify those breakthroughs so you can have fun it's fun going towards breakthroughs that's what's exciting that's what will teach the best attitude that's what I have for you today. If something resonates with you, you can contact me at 864-569-2315 or Raj at rajgavrula.com. And I hope you have a meaningful trigger for this evening. It's been a beautiful day today. Gorgeous. It's paradise. More of paradise. We need more paradise, don't we? I believe so. I know so. So go out there. Do more. Create paradise.